so guys welcome to yet another episode here in egypt so i'm here with uh, my friend uh, tour representative yasser S uh, thank you so much nice to meet you mr corret i wish you have a good day tomorrow i wish you have a good tour thank in you south sinai thank you very much i wish our tour in uh, south sinai to uh, ministry of saint catherine will be enjoyable so we are driving now around 480 kilometers uh, to reach South Sinai and then uh, I'll be doing a hike up to the uh, Mount Sinai which would take me around three hours uh, and then we are going to show you the fantastic sunrise up there and then coming down to the monastery and then uh, we'll uh, probably from there drive again to Taba. Taba, yes. Taba. To Taba which is the border, right? Yeah. The border of uh, Egypt and Israel. And Israel, yes. Okay. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, kindly do so and uh, join this journey with me. So, we're now driving to South Sinai and as per the regulations by the authorities here in Cairo, a long drive like this of 480 kilometers, there have to be two drivers uh, have doing this drive for the client. So, of course, uh, we have Fateh who was driving us all day uh, today and uh, he's also still driving us to South Sinai and we also have the second driver, Adil. We just stopped here at a checkpoint known as Ayun Musa. So, in fact, this has been the third checkpoint since we started driving from Cairo and this is mainly for the security of uh, the tourists. So it definitely gives a sense of uh, safety and security. And uh, I believe, yes, sir, there'll be two more checkpoints. Yes, we have uh, two more checkpoints. And actually, this was the third checkpoint okay. uh, in our way from Cairo to St. Catherine Monastery. So, well, uh, as soon as we pass this checkpoint, we drive again and probably two more checkpoints. And I'll get back to you when we reach uh, the St. Catherine Mountain. Until then, I'll also take another nap. So apparently we had to stop and uh, we are just waiting for the clearance. Uh, the tour representative Yasser as well as one of the drivers, uh, Fatih has been called uh, to the office just to fulfill some formalities until they give us the clearance to cross by the checkpoint. And once we are done, uh, we'll be driving again and I'll get back to you when we reach St. Catherine Mountain. So after that long drive, uh, we have finally arrived here and I have with me Saba. Saba here. Yeah who will be taking me, will be my guide, taking me up here to this mountain. Uh, we'll be initially walking and then we'll be doing a camel ride as well. Yeah. And then... So we get the camel in 15 minutes from here. Okay, so from here we walk 15 minutes. And then we get the camel. We get the camel and then the camel will take us up. So the camel will go about one and a half hour. Yeah. Okay, so one and a half hour by camel ride. Uh, we are a little bit late compared to what is supposed to be. We left a little bit late from Cairo. Yeah. But nevertheless, uh, Saba is going to help us to catch the sunrise. Oh, you never even notice the sunrise. All right. And of course, we have Yasser as well. Also, to let you know, it's uh, just uh, around 3 a.m. now. Yeah. So very early in the morning. Yeah. So we'll be walking around 15 minutes uphill. Yeah. Uh, we are already 1,500 meters above sea level. Yeah. It's quite cold, although it's summer. So I have to wear a little warm clothes. Yeah. And then we'll be going up the mountain, which is 2,285 meters. So this is going to be an exciting journey. So it's pitch dark here as we are walking up uh, to the place where we'll take the camel. Uh, all you can hear is the, the crickets uh, in the background. It's a very nice ambience. So another little walk until we reach the area to hop on to the camel. So as you see in the background, you might see a little light. It's pitch dark. Uh, but just to let you know, I'm already on the camel and uh, the ride has started moving up to the mountain. So the camel ride is around one and a half hour. And then we'll be walking up uh, 750 steps to reach the summit. Uh, hopefully to catch the sunrise in time, either at the summit or before the steps. So as it gets brighter, hopefully I can show you more. So this is a very first time experience on a hike which involves a camel ride and then walking as well in pitch darkness up to a mountain. So if you see the lights in the background, that's where we started and uh, just moving uphill. So guys, it's uh, 4, 5 a.m. and we are almost uh, 
an hour into this hike, uh, climbing up the mountain. Of course, I am still on the camel ride. So as you see in the background, it's dawn and it's going to be sunrise soon in about 40 minutes. So we should be hoping to reach the summit to catch the sunrise. So this is a small shop here, it's like a cafeteria. Just see this amazing view of the dawn. So we are just trying to put myself in a little light with the dawn light and you can see me up on this camel. So my guide Sabah has just picked up some local bread. I don't know where you can see it because it's it's very dark. Okay, I think you can see it a little bit now. A small early morning dawn snack. Well, as you see, it's getting a little brighter now. And uh, this is the summit of the mountain that we are going to. So it's brighter now and finally you can see me after this uh, quite a long hike uh, still climbing up to the summit. And this is my friend Musa. Hi, how are you? So we are now around 2,000 meters above sea level and still uh, a short distance yet to go. So we'll be going up to one of the points and then get off the camel and then start walking around 750 steps to reach the summit. So I've got off the camel and walking uphill and we have around 750 steps to climb to get to the summit. But before that, we are now coming to an area to catch the sunrise because sunrise will be soon and after that we'll go down back a little bit and then walk up the 750 steps to reach the summit. I'm panting for breath but it's definitely worth an experience, a great hike and recommend you to try this when you come to Egypt. So as you see in the background in a few minutes it's going to be sunrise. <laughs> And there finally you have the sunrise. What a great view. The sunrise is supposed to be very, very quick. As you see, as I'm talking, you can see it rising up very quickly. So there you go, it's sunrise here and an amazing sight. Once again, a great view of the sunrise. So here you see uh, those trees and it's believed that Prophet Elijah who came 500 years after Prophet Moses visited this place and uh, there is also uh, his cave down there in the valley. So in front you see the water dam and you have 3000 steps to go down and this is known as the Monk's Way. So this is another option to come out here to Mount Sinai or Mount Moses. So after watching that fantastic sunrise, uh, we are now started walking up the summit and uh, very soon we'll start climbing the 750 steps. Now at 2065 meters altitude and uh, we have the 750 climbing steps ahead. And now we start climbing up. We have just taken a break. I think we must have climbed like what, 100 steps? More than. More than 100 steps. 
Uh, of course, you need some energy, but it's interesting, it's an experience. So after a little break, then we continue climbing. So after that short break, I now continue walking up the 750 steps. So it's been around 35 minutes with uh, two stops break what we have taken uh, of about two three minutes and now we are almost reaching to the summit but it's time to take a third break and we have a small coffee shop here and it's time to have hot chocolate. So it's also a small relaxation area, a very cozy one. Yeah. And we have the gentleman here, Good morning. Yusuf, Yusuf yeah. enjoying his early morning shisha. Yeah. <laughs> good, 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 all right, thank you. I am Mohammed. How are you, Mohammed? Yeah. What's your name? Conrad. Conrad, welcome. Nice to meet you too. Welcome. Hot chocolate? Hot chocolate, please. Hot chocolate. So all the visitors who have visited here from different uh, countries have put up their flags when they came here for a short coffee break and to relax. So after a great hike, it's now time to sip this hot chocolate uh, served by Mohammed. We are almost up to the summit, just a few minutes, and then I'll show you the view up from the summit. So apparently this is a peach tree growing here, it's about 7 years old and as you can see it's got loads of peaches on it already but will be ready for eating after around a month. So after that hot chocolate, I'm energized and started climbing now again. The balance 120 steps to reach the summit after completing 750 steps. So finally, almost at the top. So here we are, 750 steps completed to reach on top of Mount Sinai, Moses Mountain. So it's a great feeling to be here on top of Mount Sinai. And this is the place where Prophet Moses spoke to God and received the Ten Commandments. So here we have a small church as well as a small mosque on the right. So this is the cave of Prophet Moses where he stayed for 40 days and 40 nights. Such a great feeling to be here. So as per the guide, the cave was a little bigger, but they have now built up this area a little bit. And just across the cave on the other side, in the background you see St. Catherine Mountain, which is 2,648 meters, which is higher than Mount Sinai. Mount Sinai is 2,285 meters. Here we have a small church, which is an Orthodox Holy Spirit Church. The church doors are locked and you cannot go inside but there is a small peephole we will try to peep inside. And 
just next to it is a small mosque and I believe it is possible to enter here it's open so let's have a look look at the breathtaking views from top of Mount Sinai or the Moses mountain So just opposite Mount Sinai, I've just zoomed in on the mountain there, it's known as the Abbas Basha mountain and you see the castle up there and this belongs to Abbas uh, who is uh, from the ruling Egyptian family who is the successor of Muhammad Ali Basha and he's the person who built the camel way to Mount Sinai. So it's time to ring the bell up here on Mount Sinai. And there you see the trail that we walked up with the camel and then the 750 steps of course later after coming on top. So I've just tried to zoom in and I cannot, I don't know whether you can see it but I'll probably place an arrow when I'm editing this video. And that was a, a house of a monk who spent nearly 40 years living all by himself in this house. So after that fantastic hike up Mount Sinai, it's now time to go back down and going down is of course much easier, no need of any more stops. But of course it's quite steep and need to be very very careful. So here there is an option also for those people who'd like to come and stay overnight and experience this visit. It's possible to do so and they have the small rooms here. So as you see, you have the mattresses and it's very cozy. And one of the best ways to experience this mountain. So although going down is much easier, but it still puts a strain on your knees. Uh, since you need to be very careful and place your legs very firmly against these rocks with a break so now we are back at this area where we started the 750 steps took us around 25 minutes going up was tougher around 40 45 minutes so when we walked up from the base of the mountain from the monastery area it took us two and a half hours and going down should be around one and a half hour So this is the path that I came uh, riding a camel, uh, but while going down, I'm going walking. So well, it's time for breakfast and then uh, we have one more hour walk down to the monastery. Alright, time for breakfast and this is a very local authentic breakfast here with some local bread some cheese with some herbs called zatar and olive oil, fresh honey and tomatoes. Everything organic. You mean all organic? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm sure it's good. So what Sabah is saying is everything here is pure organic. It's very good. So after that fantastic delicious breakfast, I'm energized and we are moving down again. So this is the mountain of transfiguration.
So this is the monastery mountain and if you can see clearly you see the trail which is the trail to go up and this is the trail of the monks who leave up into the mountains. And in the far background you see the monastery of St. Catherine and we are on the way to visit it now. So this house made of stones is where these camel owners live and here you see their camels. So if you see clearly in the or up on top you see a lot of greenery so there are a lot of plants. So this is another area where the monks are living. All right, we are back just reaching the St. Catherine Monastery area. So end of a fantastic hike. Uh, the total duration I believe was around six and a half hours from the time we went on top and then including the breakfast and the stops. And uh, now we are back here on ground and we'll be visiting the Monastery of St. Catherine shortly. Uh, that was a great experience, a first time hike experience as well. And now uh, we'll try to see if we can visit the uh, St. Catherine Monastery because today is Sunday, we're not sure whether it's open or closed. So we have just entered the main gates. Uh, this is the garden of the monastery. Uh, just walking towards the monastery and hoping that we can get an entry because generally on Sundays apparently it's closed. The monastery is in fact closed being a Sunday but they were kind enough to allow me to just have a look at the entrance area. So we are allowed only till here, but anyway, it gives us an idea of the monastery. Thank you for your kindness. So I'm back in the car and we're now driving to Taba, which is the border of Egypt and Israel. And it's going to take us two hours to get there. And I'll be staying at the Moven Peak Taba for tonight. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this hike with me. And if you did, do like, post your feedback in comments, subscribe and hit the notification bell too, so that you get updates when I post the next episode.